Today we want to talk about a, uh, a subject that comes up every winter uh, and into the spring, and it is ice melt residue in carpets. So what we want to cover in this series is how to remove in six steps that ice melt residue from your carpets. The first step I want to cover Anytime you're, you're going to try to neutralize, get rid of the salt residue, the first thing you need to do is use an industrial wet vacuum. Typically your carpet is damp or wet and you could ruin an upright vacuum. So a good commercial wet dry vacuum uh, to get all as much residue, as much of the salt particles or pellet out particles out of that carpet as possible. The more you remove first, the less residual stains you will have on the carpet. So step one is vacuum thoroughly, get the carpet mat or the carpet, get all that sand and salt off the carpet. The next step, and very, very important, is to have a floor neutralizer. So this neutralizer is the product that's going to neutralize the, the white, chalky, crusty residue in the carpet. Also, the carpet could, could have turned sort of black and dark brown, and that's because salt and ice melt products are highly alkaline and they attract dirt. So all the dirt gets attracted to where the salt is on the carpet. Neutralizer. This neutralizer is gonna be applied with a pump-up sprayer. Um, the ratio on this one, always read your manufacturers, is four ounces per gallon. So this is, a, this is a one and a half gallon. So we're gonna put six ounces in this machine, in this pump up, and fill it up. Now when you pump spray up on the carpet, sometimes when we pre-spray carpets, we go kind of a light with the spray. You wanna really put a good, heavy dose of this chemical on the carpet. Uh, anywhere you've, you've got that salt buildup and residue. Um, when you follow in the instructions here, this product says five minutes well time. So it's really important to step away from that carpet, let that neutralizer get in there and work on the salt minerals in the carpet and break them down. So that's a critical thing. So five minutes in, your next step is to actually come and agitate that carpet. And how do we do that? We would do that with a floor buffer, swing machine, stripper type machine, but we're gonna put on it a carpet brush. So this is specifically for carpets. It's got stiff brushes and, and not as stiff brushes, and you're gonna agitate that carpet thoroughly to really make sure that neutralizer gets in there and does its job. So that is the next step you do, fully agitate the carpet with a carpet brush and a swing machine. Then the next step, the sixth step, we're bouncing right through here, is to um, extract the carpet. So this is the box extractor, and I like this for, for dealing with ice and the crusty carpets, because you can really work it and know you're doing the job. In this machine, you put warm water and extraction rinse. So this is an extraction rinse product. It goes in this machine at one ounce per gallon. So never in this process do we add soap. We add a neutralizer, then extraction rinse. Those are the two products we're gonna to use to remove um, the salt residue. And then you take the extractor with the warm water and you spray and suck that floor. You can agitate it a little more if you need to. Really thoroughly flush that off the floor. Um, Get the carpet as dry as possible. The quickest way to dry it would be to get an air mover, a blower to put on that carpet. That'll help dry it. You definitely do not want to be walking on a wet carpet when you've been neutralizing all that salt and residue. Um, so make sure it's thoroughly dry so you don't get wicking. Uh, the quicker you get it dry, the better. You don't want to get wicking and have to reapply this, this solution. Um, so we went to six steps on how to clean it. Vacuum it first, use neutralizer, um, pump up sprayer, five minute dwell time, agitate with a carpet brush on a, on a swing machine, 
and then extract the carpet.